What's up guys, Tony here from XLA.com and today we're at the field and I'm um, just doing a little quick test flight of the e 250 for you guys. I know quite a few of you guys have asked uh, have asked me to do a review so uh, here we go guys and um, let's see how well the e 250 flies. There you go, that was a short little uh, test flight of the E-Razor 450 for you guys and um, she flies really nice, really smooth and stable. Uh, I did take off the fly bar weight so uh, she was a little unstable but um, I did get a few, uh, a few flights earlier before I came out to the field with the uh, weights on and things were definitely a lot uh, smoother but the flips and rolls were a little bit slower. But um, there you go guys, and now we're gonna go back to the studio and I'm gonna tell you guys more about uh, the e razor uh, 250 for you guys. Alrighty guys, we're back in our studio and um, now it's my time to talk about the e razor 250. Um, basically this little helicopter flies really, really nice for its size, you know, it's um, really smooth and stable. Uh, as you guys saw the video, I took off the fly bar weight so the helicopter seemed a little bit unstable in the breeze, but um, because I was at the field and I forgot my fly bar weights at the back of the office, so I didn't bring it with me. But um, it flies really nice. I did get a chance to fly with the weights on, and the flip rate was just about the same, but it flies much smoother in the breeze. But um, let's, let's see, let's talk about the helicopter internals. Taking off the canopy. As you guys can see here, we have the battery pack, which is um 2S pack. It's a, a 18, it's an 850 milliamp pack. And you can pop. But see, I could pop fly for about a good eight minutes with this battery pack, so that's really impressive for this little 250. It has a 15 amp ESC. It's got a uh, nice little motor, plenty of power on 2S. It's got uh, four regular servos on there and a nice heading hole jar, which holds really well. And the E-Razor 250 comes with a nice blinged out metal head. It's all metal from the swash up to the upper head. Everything is all metal, even the mixing arms are metal. The only thing that's plastic is the links, and you know that's what you want plastic. But um, even the tail grips are, you know, metal, so that's very cool, very sweet. And um, let's talk about the gyro. One thing I like about the gyro was to make the gain adjustment, you have to make it on the gyro itself, and it requires like a very slight movement. If you move it like over like a mill, like over an hour on the plot, the gain is too much, so you have to like adjust it very little, a slight bit. But um, you know, it swings 205 millimeter blades, nice size. Uh, compared it to my EXI 250, it's about half an inch shorter than my EXI 250, but it flies just the same. Um, 
Besides that, let's talk about the remote, guys. It's a 72 megahertz remote, so uh, it's not 2.4, it's not Spectrum, so you know, I'm a big fan of Spectrum. Um, and the rem about the remote, guys, we have, there's no throttle hold on the transmitter, so you know, the left uh, knob over here doesn't do anything. And the right side, the little right knob over here, is the um, idle up switch, or some people call it the 3D switch, but I call it the idle up switch. Um, and these knobs actually work. And to adjust these knobs, you have to unlock the remote down here. To adjust it, all you do is just flick it down and you adjust the knobs. The knob on the left side adjusts the uh, hover pitch. And this knob on the right side over here adjusts the uh, max pitch. And we have this little left switch over here changes the model and which you would not want to do. You want to leave it at the model C because if you change it to a different model, it's like a different uh, setting. So you don't want to touch that. And this knob over here is supposed to be the dual rates, but to me, it didn't actually do much. So I don't think it's actually enabled or anything on that. But um, that's about the remote, guys. And I know some of you guys are wondering how big the E-Ratio 250 actually is. Well, here it is in the size of my hand. You know, it's pretty tiny, and over here I have the Blu-ray 450, and as, you, and as you guys can see, it's really small helicopter, you know. It's half the size, or maybe smaller than half the size of the Blu-ray. Well, alrighty guys, that's my little mini review of the E-Razor 250.